Today, I struggle to squeeze my fat ass into a brand new squat suit. Hey guys, welcome back for yet another Project Pilsen. Today I'm just wrapping up my equipped squats for the week and things went swimmingly. Um, stuffed myself into a brand new suit. Suit's the same size as my last one, but um, because it's new and it hasn't been squat, you know, there haven't been sets of five squatted in it for a year and a half. Uh, it's obviously a lot tighter, a lot stiffer, and a lot less forgiving. Which honestly, at this point, I'm kind of down in body weight. I'm sitting around 107. That feels a lot better. So uh, my first week back in this training block, I really felt like I was doing some good mornings. Uh, I felt more like I was squatting raw with wraps than you know the suit was actually doing anything. So even with the straps probably an inch and a half looser than what I have on the suit that I have been using, uh, the new suit just is so much tighter around the quads, so much tighter around the thighs and the hips. It felt great. Um, I ended up working up to seven and a half kilos more than last week. Started with a rep at 345, and that went really, really well. Um, it moved really well. I'm still having some, not issues, but I'm still figuring out depth in this new suit. Obviously, it's tighter. It's going to bind up and restrict a little bit more. Uh, so we might even need to see a little bit more weight on the bar before I can get all the way to depth. Maybe it just needs to be broken in, but we'll see in the coming weeks. Anyways, first rep was 345, like I said. Second one, I moved up to 350 kilos, which is a little bit more than I had planned, but you know, it was moving really, really well. Smoked 350, uh, and then went to 355, which also moved exceptionally well. Um, again, a little bit on the line depth-wise, not happy with where that went to, but uh, definitely happy with how well I squatted it and the general execution of the lift. Uh, after that, I finished off my equipped squats with a triple at 325 kilos, so another five kilos up from last week. Things are feeling really, really good. I think the third rep on the 325 triple actually was at depth, so that leads me to think that it's just going to be a matter of kind of breaking in the suit to get everything to depth where it needs to be. Once I was finished my equipped squats, I moved on to my competition raw bench for the week. Now, again, things are feeling pretty good. I had took 160 and it, it felt a little bit slow. The first time I washed it back, it looked a little bit slow. So I loaded 167 uh, and then Dylan was like, yeah, no, it's a good thing you didn't take 170 because you know how you get stapled sometimes by bitch weight. So I ended up putting 170 on the bar and uh, did a pretty good job with it. It was a little bit slow, so I would have rated that an eight and a half or a nine, but it actually moved, um, you know, I don't want to say better than I expected, but it moved well. I was happy with it. Um, once I was done with that, I hit two triples at 155, the second of which damn near killed me. Uh, I was a little bit off in my setup. I kind of had a shoulder out of place and was like, ah, whatever, let's do it. And then really paid for it on the third rep, which was a grind. Once I was done with my competition bench, moved on to the slingshot, hit singles at 180, 187, and 195. Um, 195, pretty happy with how that moved. That's got to be PR territory, if not an actual, uh, you know, single PR in the slingshot. So super stoked on that. Moved on, bumped up two and a half kilos for my AMRAP this week and hit 157 and a half for a set of eight. And I could really feel the wall on that last rep right where the slingshot kicked out and my chest and triceps from all the lockout work I've been doing lately was just like, poof just slammed into it. It was really, really tough to finish that last rep, but everything stayed grooved well. I stayed tight, I stayed in position, and just kind of 
push through that last little bit. So I was proud of myself. Um, from there, moved on to some competition deadlifts, just baseline volume today. 285 for some sets of four, and those felt super, super good. I'm not getting any hip pain on the initial phase of my deadlift right now. Uh, the last week, towards the end of the week last week, I was starting to feel a little bit of hip pain just as I broke the floor on my deadlift, and I wasn't getting that today. I think I was able to just kind of brace and focus and get things a little bit better oriented, so very happy about that. So our question of the day today comes from Craig Smith. Uh, and I've actually had two or three people ask me about this lately, uh, but Craig wants to know if I'll ever pull conventional again for competition or whether I'll cycle it back to my training. Uh, like I said, I had a couple of people ask me, you know, do I do any conventional work? Uh, am I able to? And the, the sort of short answer is kind of. So what I'm doing right now with conventional patterns is I'm often using them as supplemental movements. So if we think about it in the terms of competition lift, assistance lift, supplemental lift. Assistance lift being things that are very similar to the competition movements. Supplemental lifts being things that are pre pretty far removed. I'm doing things like RDLs, uh, snatch grip stiff legs, and things like that where I'm sort of in a conventional pattern, but they're often high reps, very non-specific. So I'm not getting into the loads that I would if I were using you know, conventional as maybe an assistance lift where it's being loaded a little more aggressively. This seems to be working pretty well for me right now. I'm able to do the movement. Uh, I still definitely have a pretty low ceiling with it. I think if I were to try a max conventional right now, I might be somewhere in the mid 500s without pain. But even that to me is pretty exciting. Uh, for a long time there, even 225, 315, things like that would just kill my hip. Uh, and I've gotten to the point now where in my deload weeks, I'm often programmed conventional deadlifts for sets of 10. Uh, and although they look horrendous and kind of like garbage, um, they are I'm able to do, uh, I think I did some sets of 10 with like 170 kilos. So nothing to write home about, but I am able to do the movement. Um, and I guess takeaway would be if you have something like that, try doing it in a non-specific way to try and work it back in. Try and find movement patterns that allow you to simulate what you want to do or what you want to get to doing, but do them for maybe high reps and, you know, like I said, snatch grip instead of regular grip on your conventional deadlift to try and, again, really force you to limit the weight while still challenging you in that movement. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to everybody uh, for downloading the program, giving me feedback on it. I know there's a ton of questions on here right now. I'm gonna go through and try to answer every one of them uh, right away. And we'll be doing a video on taping the thumbs for hook grip right away as well. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned for all that stuff. Hit a like if you liked it. And we'll see you guys next video.